Hi again everyone, Scott Player Pop Cult Fan here, and today I am finally going to give my review for Aquaman. Now, Aquaman is directed by James Wan, and if you don't know him, um, he directed the first two Conjuring movies, and he directed the first two Insidious movies. So I feel like this is probably the second time a director that's known for making horror films went to making a superhero film. The same thing can be said about Sam Raimi, who made the Evil Dead movies. He was popular popular for those movies until he until he made his Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire. So, and funny enough, um, Willem Dafoe, who is in said Spider-Man trilogy is in Aquaman. So let me give my thoughts on Aquaman. I thought it was definitely, and uh, you know what this movie does do is that it looks amazing. Like from a technological standpoint, this movie is a spectacle. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of the scenery, you know, a lot of the underwater scenery, especially when you're in Atlantis and you see all these creatures and. All these like fantastical elements just reminds me of Avatar. If you've seen that movie, that movie looked visually amazing too. You know, um, a lot of parts when underwater in this movie reminded me of that movie. And then some of the more adventurous aspects of this movie, um, you know, with Aquaman and Mera, M Mera uh, reminded me a little bit of Indiana Jones. And the more... Uh, lighter tone like the this movie is very funny you know it's a, a more humorous movie um than the previous movies you know um they're definitely going with that more lighthearted tone which they started with uh suicide squad then they made justice league a, a lighter film and now this movie is a lighter film and in a lot of the um more humorous elements of this movie um, they were very cheesy, I guess you could say. It reminded me of, like, a Saturday morning cartoon. Um, you know, from a, from a script standpoint, I do feel like a lot of the dialogue, you know, with the humor just felt like something out of a Saturday morning cartoon. And, um, I don't mind that, but at the same time, it just kind of, uh, you know... It, I'm just not really expecting something like that, you know, from a movie like this. But, you know, I mean, it's not for me, necessarily. Um, I don't really watch cartoons. Not not anymore, anyway. But um, it just kind of reminded me of that. And I do think that, um, you know, the main actor, Jason Momoa, once again, did a really great performance as Aquaman, a.k.a. Arthur Curie. Um, you know, he did have his origin story, which uh, which was back, was, you know, in the very first half of the movie, you know, in the first act, you know, and that, I think that part of the movie was the part of the movie that suffered the most because there was this one particular character who was de-aged, de you know, they used de CGI, for this one particular character near the beginning of the film, which didn't really work very well. I noticed that quite quite a bit. And, you know, some of the pacing, too, at the very beginning of the movie wasn't... It, didn't, it just didn't really flow very well at the very beginning. But once the movie, you know, once the story started to pick up, that's when the movie just kept going and kept going. And a lot of the amazing action sequences and all that stuff just you know just just kept going and it was really fun to watch and i do think that basically this movie is very visually beautiful to look at like seriously it's an amazing movie in that respect but i feel like some of the narrative um issues uh, especially with the dialogue just didn't quite land for me I do think this is an enjoyable movie. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a very funny, enjoyable movie, but it, uh, some of the jokes and stuff, some of that kind of stuff just didn't always land for me. In terms of some of the other actors in the movie, I thought um, Mera, uh, played by Amber Heard, I thought she was really good. Um, and, yeah, well, she was good. I, I just didn't think she... Uh, I don't know, I guess... 
it wasn't, you know, a, an amazing performance, but I thought she was still pretty good. Um, and the main villain, Ocean Master, paid, played by Patrick Wilson, who has worked with uh, James Wan before in the past. You know, he's been in the first two Conjuring movies. He's been in the Insidious movies. So he's worked with James Wan before. And I thought he did you know, a decent job as Ocean Master, the main villain. Um, he was um, definitely not, like, the best villain I've seen in the DCEU. At least not in my opinion. I still think um, General Zod from Man of Steel is my favorite uh, villain in the DCEU. But um, in terms of his, you know, understanding him, it, they did, uh, you know, like, go into, like, the reasoning why he's, you know, doing what he's doing as a villain. You know, you understood that, but I feel like there wasn't too much of that. And for most of the movie, he wasn't... He, he was more of a physical uh, threat to Aquaman than anything else. And I thought he was really good in that respect. But not, like, um, you know, emotionally. Like, this movie uh, just wasn't... You know, it didn't have as many heartfelt moments as I would have liked. It was just mostly... A funny movie and I feel like that didn't always work for me I prefer a movie that has enough balance with humor and more dark uh, dramatic moments um, I prefer a movie that's more balanced like that you know like Webb said in my previous review for Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse that movie did a really good job balancing the humor with the more darker elements you know the more dramatic moments between characters in that movie and i feel like this movie doesn't quite have that as much at least throughout the film um i do think there are quite a few heartfelt moments in the beginning because you're telling uh, aquaman's origin story you're seeing him as a kid and you're seeing everything that's going on with his uh, you know with his parents and you know that's really where most of the more dramatic moments come into play in this movie <coughs> But for the rest of this movie, it, there's just not as much um, of an emotional <coughs> weight to the action sequences. So that's really my main thing. So I do enjoy this movie, um, but it's not as good of a movie as I would have liked it to have been. So my grade for this movie is probably like a C+. Plus. So that's my grade, and that was my review for Aquaman. Like I said, oh, Willem Dafoe was also in this movie. I thought he was really good in his role. He did a really good job. And yeah, that's really it for everything that I wanted to say. You know, it was a, an enjoyable movie. The music was good. Like, the costume designs were really good. You know, everything in the on underwater scenes was just really beautiful to look at from the costume designing to the overall look of Atlantis and all the really fantastical creatures all that was just amazing that part that aspect of the movie was amazing and that's really something to behold going into the future with future movies I hope um, other filmmakers will take a page from this movie and, you know, just sort of add to that, expand to that. You know, it would be cool to see a movie that just, that would be just focused on Atlantis underwater. I wouldn't mind that at all. So, yeah, that will do it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next will be my review for Glass. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.